Good morning, everybody. Steve here, and I am going to be reacting like I do every year to the Oscar nomination announcements for 2023. Obviously, I don't react to the 2023 ones every year, but you get what I mean. I decided that I would go through some predictions that I have right before the announcements, and I know what you're all thinking. Why am I doing it in a Word document? Because I'm old, and why the heck not? I know there are much more efficient ways, but let's just go through. So one thing that I will admit outright is that I have not watched any of the shorts yet. So I'll admit that I kind of just went with what they had on Gold Derby for the odds. So best live action short, I have an Irish Goodbye, Les Pupil, Warshaw, The Red Suitcase, and The Calm. For this documentary short, I have The Flag Makers, The Elephant Whisperers, 38 at the Garden, How Do You Measure a Year, and Nuisance Bear. And best animated short, I have The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse, New Moon, Save Ralph, The Flying Sailor, and My Year of Dicks. Yep. Now, and I keep scrolling the wrong way. Best international feature, All Quiet on the Western Front is no most definitely getting a nomination here. I think it's probably winning. Say what you want about Argentina 1985. I haven't seen it yet, and it did kind of sneak in that Golden Globe win for Best International Feature, but I still think the best chance goes to All Quiet on the Western Front. That being said, I think the other nominees are going to be Argentina 1985, Decision to Leave, Close, and The Quiet Girl. And I think that Bardo has a little bit of a chance of sneaking in, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Now, Best Documentary Feature, I think the five most likely are All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, All That Breathes, Fire of Love, Navalny, and Descendant. And I do think that Moon Age Daydream kind of has a shot of maybe taking one of those spots. Bad Axe doesn't really, but I think that out of all of them, it has the best chance of the leftovers. Now, Best Animated Feature, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, the only good Pinocchio movie that we had this past year. We had three of them. And this was the good one. It's going to get a nomination for Best Animated Feature. Solo Marshall, The Shell with, Shell with Shoes On, Turning Red, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, and Wendell and Wild. Now, I think that others that could take this fourth or fifth spot are My Father's Dragon or The Sea Beast, but I think these are the most likely. So, Best Visual Effects. You're going to notice something a little weird in this category that I have picked, and I'll tell you why. So... Avatar The Way of Water, it's probably getting nominated and most likely winning. Top Gun Maverick has a really good shot at getting in. All Quiet on the Western Front has a really good shot at getting in. Black Panther, Poncana Forever has a really good shot at getting in. Nope. That's the one where everybody's going to be like, why the hell did you pick Nope, Steve? So, for some reason, Nope has been not, not been getting a lot of love from the Academy, and honestly hasn't been getting a huge amount of love from critics or audiences. It was kind of a divisive film in terms of whether people loved or hated it. I honestly really liked it. I have watched it very many times, and as much as I think that the Batman and 13 Lives kind of, my brain is telling me one of them is going to get in in that fourth or fifth spot and that Nope's not going to get in there, but... I keep going back to those nighttime scenes and what they were able to do with, I'll just call it the threat that's in that movie, because I do not want to spoil anything. But, um, basically, my brain is saying, don't pick nope. My gut is saying, pick nope. So, I'm picking nope. I'm probably going to regret that. But anyway, best sound. Top Gun, Maverick, Elvis, Avatar, The Way of Water, All Quiet on the Western Front, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. Other contenders are The Batman and Babylon. Best Song? RRR from Natu Natu has been getting nominations and wins all over the place. It's gonna get one here. They've gotta give RRR something, because it's not even eligible for Best International Feature, because it wasn't the one that India submitted. I have a feeling it's going to win Best Song. And the other nominees are most likely going to be Black Panther, Wakanda Forever's Lift Me Up, Top Gun Maverick's Hold My Hand, Where the Crawdad Sings Carolina, and Chao Papa from Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Now, best score. Babylon is probably going to get a nomination and is most likely to win because it's been winning a lot. Banshees of Inisherin is probably going to get a nomination. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, 
The Fablemans and All Quiet on the Western Front, I don't feel as confident about. I think you could easily swip, swap these out with what I have for these under contenders, but this is what I'm picking. The Press Production Design, Babylon, Elvis, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, The Fablemans, and Avatar The Way of Water. I think that other contenders are definitely All Quiet on the Western Front, Glass Onion, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. Best makeup and hairstyling, the whale's definitely getting in here, as is Elvis. All Quiet on the Western Front's probably getting in here. I probably should have put Black Panther Wakanda Forever over All Quiet on the Western Front, but I have a feeling that the number five spot's going to be really hard to call. I picked Babylon. It could easily be the Batman or Blonde. Now, best film editing, Top Gun Maverick and Everything Everywhere All at Once are probably the ones that have the best shot of winning, so I think they're both getting in. All Quiet on the Western Front, Elvis and the Fablemans, I think, are also going to get nominations. The Under Contenders that I have, Glass Onion, Tar, and RRR. Now, Best Costume Design, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Woman King, and Babylon. Other Contenders, The Fablemans, Glass Onion, and RRR. Now, I have a lot of other contenders for Best Cinematography. Um, I think the nominees, I think the winner is going to be Top Gun Maverick, and honestly, I think it deserves it. All Quiet on the Western Front is also very worthy of this. It's going to get a nomination. Avatar The Way of Water probably will. Elvis and Empire of Light are my other picks. But the Batman and Babylon and the Fablemans, I think, have the next best shot and could easily be swapped out for one of those fourth or fifth spots. Bardo is one of those movies that when people watch it because it's uh, Alejandro Giannaritu and the cinematography that's used in most of his films, let alone this one, is amazing. There's possible that Bardo could get in and nope, like I said before, those nighttime scenes are some of the best ones I've ever seen. I doubt it's going to get in, but I would love it if it did. So, best original screenplay. Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Banshees of Inisherin, The Fablemans, Tar, and Triangle of Savannah are my picks. After Sun and Babylon, I think, have a very good shot of taking that fifth spot. You could easily swap out Triangle of Sadness for either of these two. The Menu is one where I'm thinking it's definitely not going to win. I actually don't even think it's going to get nominated, but I really love The Menu. And if it got anything, I think it would be in this category. Best Adapted Screenplay. I think that we're going to see Women Talking, The Whale, Glass Onion, definitely. All Quiet on the Western Front and Living, I'm not as confident about. I should probably swap All Quiet on the Western Front and Living because I think out of these two, Living has the best chance. The other contenders I have are She Said and White Noise. Best Supporting Actor, Kihi Kwan is taking this home. He's winning that award. I'm going to be mad if he doesn't get a nomination, but he's probably winning for everything, everywhere, all at once. And then we're probably going to see from Benches of Inisherin, Brendan Gleeson, and Barry Keoghan. I probably butchered the pronunciation of uh, his last name because I've only heard it said out loud a couple of times, and both times they were pronounced differently. And then I've got another kind of, you know, iffy pick here. Paul Dano's probably getting in for the Fablemans. Judd Hirsch. A lot of people are thinking that it's going to be either Eddie Redmayne or Brad Pitt, which is why I have them as other contenders. But I just got a really weird feeling that Judd Hirsch is going to get in here. Now, Eddie Redmayne was good in The Good Nurse. And I will admit, I have not seen Babylon yet. I just haven't gone out of my way to go see it. But... The Fablemans. Judd Hirsch is in so few scenes, but he basically steals every single second of the scenes that he's in. He deserves to be in here. And I also have something in here that I don't think anybody's predicting, but I think could be one of those guys who takes that fourth or fifth spot out of nowhere. Albrecht Schuch from All Quiet on the Western Front. And you're probably really laughing at how badly I pronounced that last name. But anyway, Best Supporting Actress, Angela Bassett for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. She's definitely getting in. Carrie Condon, I still have her in here for Banshees of Inisherin. She was the front runner for a while. I do have a really weird feeling we could have what happened last year with uh, Belfast where 
Katrina Balfe didn't even get a nomination and out of nowhere somebody else from the movie did. But I'm still thinking Carrie Condon's going to get in here. Hong Chow, I think, is going to get in for The Whale. And then both from Everything Every Wall at Once, I'm hoping for Jamie Lee Curtis and Stephanie Hsu. Now, Dolly De Leon, it could get in for Triangle of Sadness. Now, Janelle Monae, this is more of a hopeful pick because unfortunately she hasn't been getting any nominations everywhere. And I definitely think she deserves to because her performance in that movie was amazing. So I've got her as another contender. I don't think she's going to get nominated, but I think she, I will be thrilled if she does. Best Actor, they better nominate Brendan Fraser for The Whale. Actually, it's Fraser. He admitted that's how you pronounce it. Brendan Fraser should be getting in for The Whale. I hope he wins. Austin Butler is probably getting in for Elvis. Colin Farrell's probably getting in for Banshees of Inisherin. I think that these top four are the best chance. Bill Nye's getting in for Living. The fifth spot is really hard to call. Um, Paul Mescal is most likely to get in for After Sun. And then the other contenders that I have here, Tom Cruise, Felix Kummer, and Jeremy Pope. Best Actress, probably gonna have Kate Blanchett win. Michelle Yeoh's getting in for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Daniel De Danielle Deadweiler's getting in for Till. Viola Davis is getting in for The Woman King. And Ana de Armas, I think, is getting in for Blonde. I know that Michelle Williams has been a favorite to get in for The Fablemans forever, but I think that Ana de Armas is going to take her spot, and Margot Robbie has a decent shot at getting in for Babylon. Best Director? I think that all of these other contenders that I have listed here, James Cameron, Boz Lerman, Park Chan-wook, and Sarah Pauly, could get in easily, but I'm picking Daniels for Everything Everywhere All at Once, Steven Spielberg for The Fablemans, Martin McDonough for The Banshees of Inisherin. Todd Field for Tar, and Edward Berger for All Quiet on the Western Front. And for Best Picture, I do not feel as confident about my 9 and 10 pick. I think that either of the ones in Other Contenders could take that ninth or 10th spot. My other contenders are The Whale, Babylon, Glass Onion, and Triangle of Sadness. I think that the nominees are going to be Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablemans, The Banshees of Inisharan, Top Gun Maverick, Tar, Elvis, Avatar The Way of Water, All Quiet on the Western Front, Women Talking, and number 10 I really do not feel confident about, but I would love it if it got a nomination here, RRR. All right, the announcements are about to start. Let's see how wrong I am. Good morning, everybody. We've been awake all night getting ready for this moment. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited, so honored, so over-caffeinated mm -hmm. to reveal the nominations for the 95th Oscars. Good morning, everybody. Riz, I am so happy to be here with you. You've been nominated twice, and you won an Oscar last year. So I just wanted to know, did you watch this both of those times? Um, I did watch it, yeah, but I didn't wake up to watch it, and the reason for that is I never really fell asleep in the first place. Mm. There was just a lot of anticipation, mm. and I know there's a lot of people who can't wait for us to get started. So without further ado, yeah. here are the nominees for performance by an actress in a supporting role. All right, let's see. Angela Bassett in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Good. Hong Chao in The Whale. Yes. Kerry Condon in The Banshees of Inisherin. Okay, so let's see. Everything Everywhere? Jamie Lee Curtis in Okay, now is it going to be Stephanie Hsu? And Stephanie Hsu in Everything awesome. Everywhere All at Once. That is awesome. Next are the nominees for Achievement in Costume Design. Still wish you know no one was in there, but it's awesome. Babylon. Babylon got in for Production Design. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Okay, good. Black Panther got in. Elvis. Elvis got in. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Okay, cool. And Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Awesome. I did not Liz, given that the extraordinary one. sound design on your film, Sound of Metal, why don't you take this next category? Got it. I guess it's going to be sound. the nominees for Achievement in Sound. Achievement in Sound. All Quiet on the Western Front. Yes. Avatar, The Way of Water. Okay. The Batman. Okay, cool. 
Elvis. All right. And Top Gun Maverick. There we go. I have a really weird feeling I missed something here. Next up, here are the nominees for Achievement in Music, Original Score. All Quiet on the Western Front. Awesome! Yes! Babylon. Yes! Yep. The Banshees of Inisherin. All right, and let's see what else gets it. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Yes! I was not expecting that, but and that's awesome. The Fablemans. All right. So Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio didn't get in, but everything and now everywhere. We have the first that's the awesome. Two award categories that honor writers. The first is adapted screenplay. Okay, let's see. The nominees are All Quiet on the Western Front. Screenplay by Edward Berger, nice. Leslie Patterson, and Ian Stokel. Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. Yes. Written by Ryan Johnson. I hope the whale gets Living. in here. Living. Written by okay. Kazuo Ishiguro. Okay, Living's in here. And Top Gun Maverick. Screenplay by Aaron yeah. Kruger and Eric Warren Singer and Christopher McQuarrie. Story by Peter Craig and Justin Marks. Holy cow, it got in. And Women Talking. All right, so the whale, the whale did not get in. That's kind of surprising. And here are the nominees for original screenplay. But Top Gun, cool. The Banshees of Inna Sharon, written by Martin McDonough. We knew that was going to get in. Everything, Everything everywhere, yes. all at once. Written all right. by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Shiner. Let's see, Fablemans, is that going to be The Fablemans, there? written by Steven Spielberg and Tony Kushner. Yes, it is. Tar, written by Todd Field. Tar's in there, and is it going to be Triangle? And Triangle of Sadness, written by Ruben Usman. All right, Triangle of Sadness got in. Now, it's with great pleasure that I get to announce this year's nominees for Best Live Action Short Film. I know I'm going to be wrong on these. An Irish Goodbye. <laughs> Ifalu. Yeah, I did not pick that one. I'm wrong. Le Pupile. Le Pupile got in, and so did An Irish Goodbye. Night Ride. Night Ride got in. And The Red Suitcase. And the red suitcase got in. Up now, the nominees for best animated short film. The boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Okay. Pick that one. The flying sailor. Pick that one, too. With no context. Ice merchants. Did not pick that one. My year of dicks. I did pick that one. It is an awesome title. And an ostrich told me the world is fake and I think I believe it. I did not pick that one, but that's also an amazing title. The shorts tend to have the best titles. Uh, no comment. Here are the nominees for performance by okay, an actor in best a supporting actor. role. Okay, best actor. Kihi Kwan, please be in here. Brendan Gleeson in The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Okay, good. Brian Tyree Henry in Whoa, cool. That is awesome. Judd Hirsch in The Fablemans. He got in. So, wait. Barry Keoghan in The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Okay, please nominate Ki Hui Kwan. And Ki Hui Kwan in Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Yes. Riz, this is a delight. Dang. I don't want this to end. I have to say it's much so easier So Paul Dano with you than did not get in. She is tricky. Yeah, she's tricky. She's not around, is she? Uh, you promised me that she wouldn't be around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, no, Paul she's Dano didn't okay. get in, but uh, holy cow. Anyway, we'll be right back because in just a few minutes we've got more nominee announcements coming up. Wow. Right. Those were the first rounds of nominations for this year's Oscars. Okay. Let's break it all down so, with our experts now. Okay. I'm going to mute this. You, no offense, I don't want to, you know, said, totally saying, turn this I'm off, and I don't want to not hear what these guys have to say, but here are my thoughts so far. So, Top Gun Maverick got in a screenplay nod. That's actually really cool. And Brian Tyree Henry... I was not expecting him to get the nomination for Best Supporting Actor, but he got in, which is awesome. Now, unfortunately, uh, Paul Dano didn't get in, but honestly, 
I'm not mad about that. I was really hoping he would get in. All right, so we're about to start up again. We are on the original song category. In music, original song. Applause from Tell It Like a Woman. Ah, interesting. Hold My Hand from Top Gun Maverick. Knew that would be in there. Lift Me Up from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Awesome. Not too, not too. Not too, not too from RRR. Okay. Cool. Awesome. And this is a life from everything, everywhere. All of That's really awesome. I was not expecting that one or the first one. Now, next up, but the nominees for best documentary feature film. All right. All the beauty and the bloodshed. All that breathes. Okay. All that bleeds, and then all the beauty and the bloodshed. All the beauty and the bloodshed. Fire of love. All right. A house made of splinters. Did not guess that one. And Navalny. All right. Cool. And here are the nominees for best documentary short film. Okay. Let's see what we got. The Elephant Whisperers. Did predict that one. Haul out. Didn't predict that one. How do you measure a year? Did predict that one. The Martha Mitchell Effect. Didn't guess that one. And Stranger at the Gate. Huh? They didn't nominate the flag makers. Here are the nominees for Best International Feature Film. Okay. All Quiet on the Western Front. Germany. Good. Argentina, 1985. Argentina. Alright. Close, Belgium. Alright. EO, Poland. Oh, it got in. EO got in. And The Quiet Girl, Ireland. Alright. Decision to leave. Hmm. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Feature Film. Okay, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Marcel the Shell with Shoes Off. Good. I still need to see that movie. Puss in Boots, The Last Book. All right. The Sea Beast. The Sea Beast got in, holy cow. And Turning Red. All right. Here are the nominees for achievement in makeup and hairstyling. The whale. It'll be announced last, but the whale. All quiet on the Western Front. All right. The Batman. It got in. Cool. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Good. Elvis. And the whale. And the whale. Here are the nominees for achievement in production design. All right. All Quiet on the Western Front. Nice. Avatar, The Way of Water. Babylon. Elvis. And The Fables. The nominees for achievement in film editing are... Okay, here we go. The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Oh, wow, it did get in. Elvis. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Awesome. Tar. Yeah, Tar did get in, too. And Top Gun Maverick. I was going to say, if they don't nominate Top Gun Maverick... I am surprised All Quiet didn't get in there. Next up, the nominees for achievement in cinematography. Okay, let's see. Got some weird picks All Quiet on the Western Front. Good. That one deserves a nomination here. Absolutely. Bardo, False Chronicle, and a handful of truth. It got in. Holy shit. Elvis. Please don't snub Empire Maverick. Empire of Light. And Tar. Holy shit, they didn't nominate Top Gun Maverick. And now, achievement in visual effects. That's incredible that they didn't do that. All quiet on the Western Front. And not necessarily in a good way. That deserved the nomination. Avatar, the way of water. I thought that was going to win. Holy shit. The Batman. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. 
and Top Gun Maverick. Okay, so these ones deserve these nominations. I'll, I'll admit it's time that. for our final four awards. So Nope's not going to get Here anything, Here are the nominees for performance by an actor in a leading role. Okay, here we go. Austin Butler in Elvis. Good, expected that. Colin Farrell in The Banshees of Inisherin. Good, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser in The Whip. Yes. Paul Meskel in After Sun. Okay, and the other one's gonna be Bill Nye. And Bill Nye in Living. All right. Brendan Fraser. And now the five nominees for performance by an okay. actress in a leading role. Let's see what happens here. Kate Blanchett in Tar. Knew that was gonna happen. Anna de Armas. She got in for Blonde. Andrea Riseborough in To Leslie. Whoa! That came out of nowhere. Michelle Williams in The Fablemans. And Michelle Yeoh in Everything Everywhere. Okay, very glad to hear Michelle Yeoh got in, but Danielle Deadweiler and Just Viola Davis, I'm kind of surprised, did not get nominated. In directing, and the nominees are... Very surprised. Martin McDonough, The Banshees of Inisherin. Okay. Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. Everything, yes. Everywhere, all of Daniel's them. got in. Steven Spielberg, The Fablemans. Good. And is it going to be Tar? Todd Field, Tar. Yep. All Quiet's not getting in. What's going to be the last one? And Ruben Östlund, Triangle of Sadness. Whoa. Okay, director category is one where they often have a surprise. I really was not expecting that last now the one. final category. Here are the ten nominees for Best Motion Picture of the Year. Okay, RRR and Women Talking probably aren't getting All in. All Quiet on the Western Front. Malta Luna, Okay, producer. good. Avatar, The Way of Water. Yeah. James Cameron and John Landau producers. So it's probably going to be Babylon now. The Banshees of Inisherin. Whoa, okay, so it's not going to be Babylon. Banshees of Inisherin got in. Elvis. Baz Luhrmann, Catherine Martin, Gail Berman, Patrick right. McCormick, and Skylar Weiss producers. The whale's probably getting in now. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Daniel Kwan, awesome. Daniel Shiner, and Jonathan Wong, producers. The Fablemans, Christy McCosco Krieger, Steven Spielberg, and Tony Kushner, producers. Yes. Tar, Todd Field, Alexander Milshon, and Scott okay. Lambert, producers. Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise, Good. Christopher McQuarrie. Now, what are going to be the last two? Triangle of Sadness, Eric Hemendorf, and wow. Amy Bobeck, producers. And Women Talking. Okay, Women Talking did get in. Okay, good. Good. This was such an honor and huge congratulations. No nomination for RRR, but Triangle of Sadness is pretty cool to see in there. And I was kind of, I'm surprised I was right on Babylon not getting the nomination. Yeah, he didn't get in with that one. But I think what's interesting is that, what I didn't see coming, but this Oscar's going to be about all quiet on the Western Front. I think. So, what do I think? I mean, there were some really big surprises here. Um, so, Brian Tyree Henry getting in for Best Supporting Actor is awesome. Top Gun Maverick not getting in for cinematography was shocking. I thought that movie was going to win. And Triangle of Sadness got nominated for Best Picture. That's actually pretty cool. Man. And Andrea Riceboro got in for Best Actress. I've got to say, there are always snubs every year. There are always some surprises every year. This one had some big ones. I wouldn't say that I'm super disappointed in anything. I think some people were snubbed for Best Actress. And I think that um, Top Gun Maverick definitely should have gotten a Cinematography nomination. But... I don't really think I have anything big that I can complain about this year. 
But anyway. We'll have to see who wins these things in a couple of months. So, thanks for uh, watching this with me. And bearing with me as I go ahead and give my commentary over this stuff. And I'll see you guys later.